Okay, so what exactly did Apple try to do, and how did News Corp so respond? So you know I'm really good at math, right? Yes. So twelve ninety nine and fourteen ninety nine are more than nine ninety nine. Than nine ninety nine, and, and a couple of other numbers as well. Significantly more. I mean, uh, significantly more because that was going to go in Apple's pocket. Apple went to the publishers and said, "We got a mutual problem." And I'm paraphrasing, and maybe that's unfair, but we'll read from some of the quotes directly. But the idea was that they had this problem uh, that they wanted to raise prices in, in, in this ebook business, and so the, this. This complaint is an amazing read because it talks very directly about what Steve Jobs and Eddie Q said to the publishers uh, in different meetings and different emails. I mean, poor Eddie Q, both his Golden State Warriors won lost last night. So, so, remind and then us who Eddie today. Q is. Uh, Eddie Q, uh, senior executive at Apple, who was put in charge of make, creating an ebook business for Apple to be part of the, their iPad business. And he had many meetings with the publishers and many emails with the publishers saying, if you do business with us, you can set the prices if you do it in a universal way. We won't make you work. We'll Move first, these emails said. Uh, we're talking, they talked to many of the publishers, and the government is alleging that they were working with them all together in concert in a conspiracy to raise prices. Do we know how News Corp responded? Well, there were responses from News Corp uh, that suggested that they were briefing Rupert Murdoch all the way to the top. Uh, of the company. James Murdoch was more involved apparently when he was running that business at Random House. But uh, they were Simon Schuster, I should say. But uh, uh, it's, an, it's an interesting uh, business because they went to all the major book publishers. Uh, and, and there's some evidence within this lawsuit that, said, that shows the prices going up after these uh, communications. So why would Apple take such extraordinary steps, have Steve Jobs himself? Yeah. You know, well, doing what involved. it looks like he's doing. Very involved uh, in this in this effort, and and what we saw here uh, in the in this uh, this pricing is that it was all about Amazon. Amazon's dominance in this business and lowering prices was vexing to the publishers. And there's talk in this complaint of all the major publishers having secret meetings in private rooms at restaurants so they could talk about these issues that had been brought on them by Amazon and this low cost uh, 999 ebook model and that their efforts to uh, that what was discussed there wasn't clear. But so there were some notes taken, and that's part of this complaint as well. Is there any evidence that Steve Jobs personally wanted to do this as opposed to the company? Uh, indeed. Uh, he said to Walter Isaacson in his book, he had some direct quotes about what he said to the publishers and, and what he said very specifically. We'll go to the agency model, which is to say the book publishers would, deal, would have an agency and set the price where you set the price and we get our 30%. And then he went on to say, uh, and yes, the customer pays a little more. But that's what you want anyway. <laughs> so he had Apple. You know, we think of Apple maybe for the phone, uh, but the the thing that really turned on Apple's business was the iPod and the success that they had with music. I think that that looms large, even in the Google discussion you were having earlier today. That Apple found this new publishing model for the music industry, and they wanted to bring that to the book industry. So, is there any evidence that's been presented so far that found that this works to? Any extent. There's one chart in particular in this uh, complaint, and I, and I put a link to the complaint on my Twitter account at Corey TV, and it shows the price jump right after some of these meetings. So it was, it was a, it's an intriguing suit to read. Now it's only one side. It's the Department of Justice side. It's the strongest case they could possibly make. Apple's response to this will be just as interesting, and I'm sure will be uh, hopefully just as compelling, so we can have an interesting discussion on this. But it's a, it's quite a read. This.